Last year on Dragon Ball Distortion. Sorry for the wait. After training in the time chamber, Gohan pursues Vegito to accept the challenge given to him. The fight was intense and it looked like Vegito was going to win. However, Gohan reveals an ability to change sets that shook the battlefield, giving Vegito the biggest beatdown of his life. However, Vegito reveals that he still has one trick up his sleeve. What is Vegito hiding from Gohan? Uh... No way! All, All right, right, Gohan, let's get serious. I didn't think Vegeta would be able to go Super Saiyan 3. This really is going to be the battle of the test where I've learned in the chamber. The epic battle between Gohan and Vegito continues now! Exactly the type of battle I've been searching for. So much fun. Let's go, ha! Get up! What are you thinking? This isn't a death match! Why would you do this? Fine, you won't get up? Alright, I'll destroy the planet! No! You wouldn't! Wanna try me? What is the point of all this? Go on, can you hear me? Elder Kai? Go on. The situation has gotten serious. The tremendous power of Vegito Super Saiyan 3 has caused the Potara to malfunction. His mind is warped into corruption. You must stop him, or he will really destroy the Earth. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Good boy. Kamehameha! Well, the time to 
Richard. Perhaps I should give you a taste of your own medicine. Final Flash! Well, that's it. There's no one else left in the universe that could match me. Perhaps I should use the Dragon Balls in order to give me the ultimate power that I desired. I should build a kingdom worthy of the King of All Saiyans. No, I will bring back my original kingdom. I shall use the Dragon Balls to bring back what's taken away by Frieza. Planet Vegeta will return and I will be the king of it all! Huh, his build is different. That's weird. Ah! Ah! Whoa, 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 wait, hold on, it's okay, you're safe. What? What is this place? Wait, wait a minute. I've, I've been here before, in my sleep. I, I've met you. You're not my dad. Yes, Gohan. I am the power that's been sleeping inside you for so long, ever since you were born. I've taken the form of Goku because I wanted to present myself as a father figure to you. It was either Goku or Piccolo, but I just went with Goku because... He is the Re-Father, so... yeah. Ever since he fused with Vegeta to defeat Majin Buu, things never felt the same. I thought that when he came back to life, he could fill back in the emptiness I felt, but it was short-lived. Sure, Piccolo is an amazing father figure, but he isn't my father. I'm glad I get to see some image of my dad again before I die. Gohan. What is something that your father told you back when you trained in the hyperbolic time chamber? Your power comes in response to a need, not a desire. You've been training in the hyperbolic time chamber, building up your strength and various abilities that you didn't feel the need to give yourself what you really needed. I've had a motive to get stronger from the beginning of my training. To become the man to take the mantle of my father. To be the guy to teach the next generation how to be stronger. And to become a strong man that my daughter Pan can look up to when she gets older. Yes, you have the perfect motive to become stronger. But through that you've lost something very important to your training. And what's that? Your light at the end of the goal. This is the power you have, but you still have to grab it. It can't just be given to you. But you haven't had the proper teacher that can allow you to use what you have. So I'll show you some hints to help you figure out what you need to do. What? Gohan. Do you know what this is? When Elder Khan locked, locked your head of potential, potential, he opened the door filled, filled, with, filled with power. But, but you still, still haven't managed, managed to walk through that door. This is the door that Vegeta was talking about. The door that I've already opened, but... I never walked through it. Yes, the powers of your potential was never truly grasped by you. And with this ability, you should have no problem defeating Vegito. Thank you! I... I'll do what I can, but... I need to hurry before Vegito gets all of the Dragon Balls. Wait a minute, Gohan. How do you plan on fighting Vegito after taking so many injuries? How do you plan on leaving this place to begin with? Well, what do you suppose I should do? There is something I can do. I can make your body not feel any pain, but in return, you will later feel the most amount of pain that you have ever felt in your life. How long will it be until I feel pain? Five minutes. I'll accept it. Wait, that fast? You're not even going to think about what you're going to do in five minutes? Nah, five minutes really doesn't flow that fast for us. <laughs> well, alright then, good luck. Whoa! Ah! Huh! Well, I guess it's true. I don't feel any pain from these injuries that I have. I should be able to beat Vegeta within five minutes. If I figure out what those hints mean. Go on, can you hear me? Oh, the guy? Go on. Thank goodness you're alive. I thought you were done for, but there's no time to figure that out. While you were unconscious, I contacted Piccolo when he was in the chamber and told him of the situation. 
He's fighting Vegeta right now as we speak, but he's losing. Get over there now! Alright. Demon Flash! I think it's time we end this. What? what? Uh! Who did that? Uh? So you're still alive. Don't tell me you went to Korin's tower and got a sensu bean while I was fighting Piccolo. Oh, shoot! I could have done that in order to get my foot back and heal my body. I guess I have to deal with it. I can still sense Piccolo's energy. He's unconscious. Get out of the smoke. What? I impossible. Don't get caught. Special Beam Cannon! Uh! Go on. I don't know how you did it, but you've done it. No, Elder Kai. I've thrown away any chances of getting back my father. No. You're wrong, go on. Look to your left. My left? The, the Dragon Balls? Yes. While you were unconscious, Vegito gathered the Dragon Balls in order to create his kingdom. But thankfully, Piccolo pursued him before he could use them. If you use one wish to revive Vegito, you bypass the rule that prevents someone who has been revived in the past not be resurrected. See? In the eyes of Shenron, Vegeta was a completely different person than Goku and Vegeta. And after your wish is done, you can wish for Vegeta to be diffused. Thank you, Elder Kai! Shenron, arise! the seven dragon balls. State your wish. I can grant you three. Shenron, I need to bring Vegito back to life. And for my second wish, I need you to defuse him. So very easy wishes. Your first wish is granted. And your second wish, granted. And for my third wish, please heal Piccolo. Your wishes have been granted. Farewell. I'm so proud of you! You managed to defeat Vegito and reach even greater heights! Now it's gonna be really hard for me and Vegeta to catch up. Thank you, Dad. And speaking of Vegeta, I'm gonna go talk to him right now. Wow, Vegeta, I guess Puranga brought you back to life as well. He must not see you as a bad guy. Congratulations! Kakarot, do you sense that energy? It's rising. What? Piccolo, I'm sorry for not coming to your aid sooner. No. Gohan, you've saved my life. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright. What? No! 
This can't be! Impossible. Kakarot! Rolling! Go on! Go on! Vegeta, even though we've been resurrected, our power is still drained from Vegito being a Super Saiyan 3! Damn it! I can't believe that I've been forced into this corner again, just as we finally defused! What? Who are you? Where are the Saiyans? The Saiyans? They're here. I am they. We are one. Unfortunately, 